In order to add fractions, we must make sure that we have the same denominators for the fractions that we are adding. When the denominators aren't the same, there's a few steps that we need to follow in order to be able to add them. Here we'll look at two examples and show you how to do this. If we look at the first example, a half plus three eighths, we see that the denominators are two and eight. So what we need to do is we need to change these fractions into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. And the way we do that is by finding the lowest common multiple of two and eight. To find the multiples of two, we can just list them. So starting with two, we have two, four, six, eight. I'd recommend just doing the first four multiples. If you don't find a common multiple, then you can always just keep adding. Okay, let's look at eight. Well, the first multiple of eight is eight. And if you look at the two lists, there we've already found our first multiple. And this is the lowest common multiple. Okay, once we found the lowest common multiple, we need to rewrite the fractions or write equivalent fractions where both denominators are eight. So looking at the first one, to turn two into eight, we multiply it by four. And just remember to do the same to the top. So now we have our new fraction, four over eight. If we look at the next fraction, three over eight, that's already over eight, so we don't need to do anything. Now that the fractions are both over eight, we can simply just add the numerators. Four plus three is seven, and that's over eight. Okay, let's look at four fifths plus a half. So we want to find the lowest common multiple for five and two. So let's start with five. Five, 10, 15, 20. And we'll do two next. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, we haven't found the lowest common multiple yet, so we'll just continue. Next one is 10, and there it is. So now equivalent fractions where the denominators are both 10. Five times two, do the same to the top. So that's eight over 10, plus two times five, one times five. That's five over 10, and that equals 13 over 10. Now, if we can rewrite this as a mixed number, we should do that as well. And that equals one and three over 10.